All right, scouts, here we go for requirement two. It's broken up into three parts. 2A, describe the scouts in the troop, how they provide its leadership. So there's a very specific hierarchy in the troops that we have. The leaders are not in charge of the troop. It's a boy-led organization. So your senior patrol leader is in charge. He runs the troop with guidance from the patrol leader's council and the, the uh, scout master's assistant scout masters. But overall, the senior patrol leader is in charge. The senior patrol leader has one or two or more assistant senior patrol leaders. And they help the senior patrol leader. Those assistant senior patrol leaders then work with the other uh, positions of a responsibility in the troop. So you're going to have a patrol leader. You may have an assistant patrol leader. You could have a quartermaster, a webmaster, a photographer, a chaplain, a bugler. There's a lot of them. I want you to look them up in your book. But the assistant senior patrol leaders make sure that those positions of responsibility, such as a patrol leader, are doing what they should. Then that patrol leader actually works with the scouts in the patrol to accomplish whatever goal it is. Okay, there's a specific hierarchy mentioned in the scout book. I want you to look that up to understand that it is not run by the adults. It should not be run by the adults. It is not run by some uh, big, big bad boss. It's the troop is run by the senior patrol leader and then the leadership from there all the way down to each individual member is completed. So that's requirement 2A. Requirement 2B, describe the four steps of scout advancement. These are on page 414 of your scout book, and they're very, very simple. You learn like you're learning right now. You're tested. It's not a pass-fail. Okay, you're tested. We want to make sure that you understand the knowledge. You're reviewed. So either after this video, I will be live for the COVID Campery to review, or afterwards, we can meet at a different time and actually get reviewed, and then you are recognized. Okay, whether it's a scoutmaster, whether it's myself, signing off the requirements in your book. Okay, once you complete a rank, earning that rank, uh, and um, you know, earning the actual badge at the Court of Honor. Those are the four steps of scout advancement. 2C, this is on page 412 of your book. Describe what the scout's BSA ranks are and how they're earned. So, again, use your book as your reference, but here they are. You have a scout rank, tenderfoot, second class, first class, star, life, and eagle. Those are the ranks, and I'll shortly go through each one to tell you how they're earned. Scout rank, you're doing it right now. You have a list of requirements. You're going to learn them. You're going to be tested. You're going to be reviewed and then recognize as you do each one. There's a part in your book, in the back of your book, there is a record keeping for all of this. And I want you to look in the back of your book because this is where you, as a responsible scout, responsible for your own rank, can start working on things and getting them signed off. And it's very important that you do that. So as you accomplish something, have it signed off, get it recorded, and whether it's Troop Master or some other method, how your troop keeps track of the records, but that's how you do it. So for scout rank, there's a list of requirements. For tenderfoot, second class, and first class, all of those requirements are listed in the back of your book, and they are the same thing. It has explain, or demonstrate, or follow up, whatever it might be. Each one of them has an action you need to accomplish. Once they're done, you can get reviewed and signed off. Once you get to first class, then you start earning merit badges. Okay. So for star rank, there's a few requirements similar to tenderfoot, second class, first class. But on top of that, there's a certain number of eagle required merit badges and non-eagle required merit badges. Okay, you can go online, you can look in your book. The eagle required merit badges are typically silver bordered. The ring around the merit badge is actually silver. The non-eagle required are green. Okay, you can look all those up in the back of your book for what they mean what they are and we'll actually explain that here in 2D in a second. For life there's also a list just like in STAR there's a list of a few requirements along with some additional merit badges and then for EAGLE it's the same thing there's a list of requirements and then there's a few more merit badges. Okay that's how you move from SCOUT all the way through EAGLE. Some of them have time requirements for STAR and life you have to be those ranks for a certain amount of months or days. Okay, so if you're an older scout trying to get to Eagle, be aware there are time constraints. Okay, you can move as fast as you want, 
But with those time constraints, you can't, you can't go faster than those. The next one is 2D. This one is on page 416. Describe what merit badges are and how they're earned. So I talked about the merit badges for Star, Life, and Eagle. Okay? There's over 100 merit badges. Okay, they range from topics from American business to zoology to repelling to wilderness survival. And like I said before, the silver ones are required. Okay, there are certain requirements for each one of those. So if I were to take a first aid merit badge for, for example, first aid merit badge is silver bordered, it's eagle required. You get a merit badge book, which they sell at the office or some troops have them or you can borrow them, buy them online at the, at the store, I'm sure. Go through those requirements, but what you have to do before you start with a merit badge counselor is you have to identify the merit badge you want to work on. You want to then talk to your scoutmaster about starting that. He will help you find a merit badge counselor. For example, I am pioneering merit badge counselor. So if you had an interest in the pioneering merit badge, you would say, hey, Mr. Weber, I wanted to learn about Pioneering Merit Badge. I'd be like, great, do you have a buddy? Okay, find a buddy to work with. Remember, we always work in, in pairs. Find a buddy. Then once you have the Merit Badge and the counselor, you talk to your Scoutmaster and you get a blue card. Okay, a blue card is a Merit Badge card. Your Scoutmaster can explain those. And what that says is, I have spoken with the Scout, they have spoken with Mr. Weber, and they're going to begin their requirements. At that point, it's your responsibility to make contact with me, whether it's through email, phone, text, whatever, to set up meeting times together. Now, one thing I want to mention is don't individually text or email an adult in the scout troop without adding one of your parents or your scoutmaster or both to the email. It's very, very important, okay? We have too, too deep leadership, and if that happens, I will not respond. You need to have a, a, a scout leader or a mom or dad along with yourself in an email, a text, whatever the messaging you, you use, okay, to contact me. So the way I would probably recommend you doing your first one is once you have spoken with me, once you know I'm your counselor, get with your parents, say, Mr. Weber's my counselor, I would like to talk to him about starting the merit badge. Get with your parent, put on speakerphone, Give me a call and say, hey, Mr. Weber, this is so-and-so from Troop X, it's Troop 123, and I've got my mom or dad here, and I would like to talk to you about being a counselor for the Wilderness Survival Merit Badge or Pioneering. I would say, fantastic. Do you have a buddy? If you don't, I would encourage you to get a buddy. If not, that's okay, but I would require your mom or another leader from your troop to attend the meetings where we actually start reviewing this, and we would go through the Merit Badge requirements, okay, step by step. I would begin signing you off. At the end of the merit badge, when I know you have passed everything, you can actually go on there on the blue card. I'll sign your blue card. You take it back to your scoutmaster and he'll record it and you will get the merit badge. So a lot of information in two. I wanted to take the time to do it, but those are how the troop provides leadership, the four steps of scout advancement, the BSA ranks, and the merit badges and how to do them. Hopefully that's helpful. If you have any questions, we'll talk in just a little bit on the live video and we can answer those.